Welcome everybody, namaste. My name is Vijay um, and in these series of videos we're going to be sort of introducing to you the very basics of guitar at a very beginner's level. Um, sound Ceremony, we have these online uh, regular courses and so we've created this uh, segment of videos so that you can the, get the very basics of um, how to start playing the guitar so that when you do join the more intermediate levels you're actually having a lot of fun. So the first thing I'd like to do is basically introduce to you the, the guitar and a bit of a history on how the guitar came around. It's got a bit of a fascinating history. The first uh, sets of sort of stringed instruments were bowl harps or, or tanbours. And a tanbour is essentially defined uh, as an instrument uh, with a long neck um, with strings with an egg or uh, pear-shaped body. Uh, and interestingly, um, there are drawings in caves uh, back uh, as far as the Egyptian pharaohs uh, that had depictions of these sort of instruments, these like tanbur stringed instruments as well as flutes as a matter of fact. That goes as far as 3500 to 4000 years ago. Um, so the, the word guitar, the, the, the root, the word tar is actually Sanskrit for string. Uh, and so that's the root word. This is where uh, the, the term guitar essentially came for, uh, from. But there is an, um, in Sanskrit and in Hindi, the, if you count, it's ek, do, teen, char. So there was an instrument called ektar with one string, dotar, a two stringed instrument, tretar, which in Persian was a setar, which as you can imagine um, was the root of the sitar in, in India, uh, which obviously has a lot more than three strings now. And then there was the chartar, and chatur is for in Sanskrit. So the chartar uh, then sort of evolved in Spanish to kitar uh, or kitar in Arabic or chitar in Italian, and which is basically the, the root of this instrument. And interestingly, the first bit of music that was ever composed for a four-stringed instrument like this was in the Renaissance period in the 1600s. Um, and it was for a four-string guitar. Uh, but the modern, this version of the guitar, as we call it, the classical uh, acoustic guitar, was developed by a Spanish maker called uh, Antonio Torres, and he actually modified the proportions of it, enlarged the body, changed the proportions of it, and added two strings. So this image here is the first uh, guitar that, that existed, that was made. So now I'd like to introduce to you the parts of the guitar, starting from the very top. This is the headstock here. These are the tuning keys, which we use to tune each string, of course. This white bit is called the nut. Back here is the neck. And these vertical metal bars that we see here are called frets. And accordingly, the board on which the frets are placed is called the fretboard. And on guitars, a lot of guitars, you will see these dots that are here. If not here, they'll be on the side here. And they're called position markers. And you'll find position markers on the 5th, 7th, 10th, and 12th fret, usually. Moving down, here is the body. This is called the body, of course. And this is the hole is the sound hole. And acoustic guitars have a sound hole. Electric guitars don't. And they're actually some hybrid guitars. Um, that are, can be electric as well, that also have a sound hole. So these holes usually are uh, sound holes. This here is called the bridge, and this white bit is called the saddle. And of course, these are the strings. So those are the basic parts of a guitar. So now I'd like to talk to you about how to actually hold a guitar, and there's actually various ways of doing it. Um, the standard casual way is to have it on your right lap, like this. And then you can also stand up uh, and do it. One thing to remember when you do stand up, a lot of people obviously have straps. Uh, make sure that when you do stand up that it that your guitar isn't lower or much higher, it really should be the exact same position. 
as you have it when you're sitting. But the, the style that we here would like you to actually learn that's actually safer for injuries is the classical style, which is on your left, if you're right-handed, on your left uh, lap. And there's a few things to note here. So we want to make sure that you're sort of eye level with the, uh, with the head here of the top of the guitar and that your shoulders are not too forward or too back. It's a nice comfortable uh, position and that when you actually look left while you're playing that your fingers are sort of like eye level, you know, and you want to make sure that it's comfortable and by learning how to play this way over time you're going to avoid injury and pain. Um, and it's also actually really comfortable to be able to look at your, your guitar uh, where you're playing and also have a really comfortable uh, spot for your, for your hand over here. Um, we recommend to try to position your hand above the sound hole, around the sound hole, your right hand and your left hand like this. There's other uh, technicalities and little details, but for beginners, try to focus on just having a comfortable position. Um, and we recommend practicing and learning it in this classical position.